Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello and assalamualaikum. Hi, I'm Nisa. I'm artist, author, and I survived schizophrenia. But artists, yeah, I do some arts like line art, watercolor, and acrylic mostly. I just started, so um, I'm also an author. I've written books about actually is e-books about my past schizophrenic journey, schizophrenia journey. Okay, I don't hear voices anymore, but I used to be able to hear them. I experience it, and I am also inside my storeroom. Is yeah, aka my studio, <laughs> my happy place, the smallest room in this condo. Yes, this is a condo. We are living under. Well, some quite high, but okay. Let's just say it's on the eighth floor, right? That's all I can say. Um. Yeah, I've written ebooks about my schizophrenia genie. It's segregated into four series, or else it'll be like three hundred over pages. So every series is like around average seventy pages or so. It's about to launch soon. It's called Kudenga Suara in Bahasa Malaysia. Yeah, in Bahasa. So and I'm. I'm I'm um working on it to get it translated into English, which is called I Heard Voices. It's something like um a beautiful mind by Russell Crowe acting, but I'm not a mathematician like John Nash. I am me. I am artist. Okay, because there was a point when my family took. Took all my art supplies away when I was in voices. When I was schizophrenic. I was depressed. I was anxious, and the voices were teasing me and everything. So eventually, after a few years, like how long has it been? It was in two thousand seven. Was it two thousand seven, two thousand eight ish like that? When I start hearing voices, and now it's already twenty twenty one. So you do the math. I'm almost forty now. I'm going to be. Yeah, I'm not forty yet, but I'll be in twenty twenty two. Today is twenty twenty one, isn't it? So anyway, uh, these are some of the art that I do. Okay, this is my sketchbook. This is um, I redraw back from the internet. Okay, as if I'm wearing a telecom. Then this is uh, for my class exercise. This is watercolor. Uh, this is just a bunch of journals, writing. I still write journals and you know. And I like, illustrate writing t-shirt, buy t-shirts for my kids. Um, um, this is a car. Yeah, I went to Johor kind of thing. And this is a plane ticket. I cannot see anymore. It's like, ah! It just faded. This is a firefly. To get this, uh, using a washi tape, paste it. I even draw Thermomix. Ha ha ha. Thermomix doodle. So cute, right? Okay, so I was supposed to be drawing bluebell flowers, but until now, I still haven't drawn any bluebells. Uh, this is just uh, some idea development sketches. Just, um, yeah, and then this is a swan drinking from a glass. Uh, I just redraw this from Pinterest. Yeah, so most of these idea developments are just from Pinterest or Pinterest. Okay, so, um, okay, this is also from class exercise just like just now. Um, yep. See, hands are for high fives and hugs. Okay. See, hugs, but so I see, I'm supposed to draw like this. This is with pencil, this is with pen. So I do develop more. Maybe I could share, propose it so that, you know. Get it done. And this is another storybook. I'm working on it. It's called He Don't Miss the I have to go on something like this for exhibitions. More journal writing and more journal writing. And this one sticker with uh, some more idea developers trying to paint waves. Ah, uh, this is my husband. <laughs> yeah, my husband is a lecturer. Um, he's a doctor, PhD doctor. Uh, this for welcoming me. Woohoo! Supposed to draw this, want to paint this, but never got. 
So just develop into sketch. The original that I saw on YouTube was um, a kitten, a kitten, kitty cat. Under the heavy rain, under the umbrella. And this is the abacus. My kids have abacus. The Ikea abacus, remember? It done on crayon. Oh, pastel. Yeah, crayon, all the pastel. Just an experiment. This for my kids' maths book, but I developed the heart, the laugh. This is also crayon, all the pastel. I don't like pastels. Like, see you. Okay, this is more journaling stuff. Sleepy game. What? Okay, and this more of eye development. Ah, this one I was supposed, I wanted to make makeup. Makeup art! But, never got through it. Ugh, so busy. I have so many things to do, actually. Um, and, ah, this has, this is the latest one. This is a line art class. So this is just practice and my teacher, art teacher said my, my practice line practice is just so stagnant. So I work on another practice. Just this one. So this is better. At least the lines are not so straight. It's important to practice your lines. Okay. If you're working on line art or any other lines, you know, basic art fundamentals. All right. Ah, and this is the toss. It's avocado, cherry tomato, egg toast. The salmon slice. Cool, huh? And, ah, this is a rose, but the lines are not in order. I just simply... <laughs> but it's good effort. It's pretty abstract. I like drinking abstract stuff. And I just can't help myself making this noodles. Mikari. My daughter was eating my two-year-old. And then take a hat myself make a simplified rose. Let's make it upside down. Simplified rose. And this is just Rafflesia. And then yes, yesterday I was having just crazy idea working on my book on the last until I finished the whole storybook. Which is like living on a job plane. This is a uh, the last frame on the aeroplane. I'm not sure whether to want to make this is the last frame or this one. Cause he don't need can apa? He don't need Harris Torres Jewa kan? It's like me yo yo peace. Or maybe I just end this this. Well, that's me. So. That's how I am. I like to do art. I also like to write. So, because because I like to divert. I learn to divert my emotions through art and journaling. So, when I journal, I think it's good if I make it into a book. Because at least I can have a legacy for my kids or for myself. At least there's something. So, I already work on ebooks. Kudunga Suara. Oh, gosh. Sometimes I feel nervous and... And, um, I don't know. Sometimes it feels anxious at first in the beginning because it's, I, I, I drew it the proper way. I applied for EISBM. I applied for PDP, which is the Persijilan Digital, Persijilan Digital Pengkategelokan, something like that. So it's like reading that is under the, it's under schizophrenic and adult schizophrenic and adults. And it's just mostly biography, okay? It's a true story, okay? And, I don't want to rely on drugs because, because you know, like REM said, drug, it was the REM. Okay, because what he says, the, the band says, drugs don't work, drugs don't work, you know, kind of thing. So, because in the end, it's just drugs, okay? I mean, in the beginning, of course, in the first three to four years, um, 2007, 8, 9, 10, around that, because I was healing and I wasn't hearing any voices anymore. So, the drugs really did work. Helps me to sleep, helps me to make the voices just psh, be gone, kapoof. And do I still hear them? Uh, no, but because now I don't rely much on the medicine anymore, the medication anymore. So I'm just, um, I used to have anxious and sometimes I get depressed. But now I'm older, I'm wiser, I'm stronger than yesterday. So I'm like... I'm just, I just don't want to rely on drugs anymore. I like to become artists 
Otto. Me, survivor. I'm a survivor, schizophrenia, survivor, I'm a survivor, I'm surviving. So that's me, that's who I am. Thanks for watching and please like, comment and subscribe. I'm going to post more of this style of vlogs more often. I'll be talking about my art and my books and what I aspire for the future because what I aspire is I'm aiming to go national. Yeah, national, okay, with myself as a schizophrenia survivor because in the end, I also another human homo sapiens. I want to integrate with the society that it's okay to not be okay. Because mental health is as important as your physical health. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I do things like this, but it just feels so great to be able to talk like this, you know. Because I still write in journals, just not every day, like in my teenage days, because I'm a mom, a wife, and everything else in between. So, thanks for watching! Bye and assalamualaikum. We'll see you in the next vlog. Peace, yo.